Well, one issue that we face that is so important right now in the United States is the fight for life and a new urgent prophecy being put out there by Prophet Jeremiah Johnson. We're going to get into the full details of it. But before I go any further, guys, I got to give a shout out to Michael, who recently became a $5 patron here of the channel, helping to support. Thank you so much, Michael. You are awesome. And guys, you can help out as well if you enjoy what I do here. You can go over to patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description also gets you access to over 20 exclusive podcasts where I talk more about sensitive information. You get the alerts for anything that goes out on Patreon, unlike YouTube, where you will not be notified of all the videos that I put out, even if you have that bell selected, because YouTube doesn't like me, but I know you guys like me. So when you get done watching me here, browse back and check what you missed. Please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, let's talk here about Jeremiah Johnson. He has put out several prophecies before in the past. He's really rising up right now in this hour um, as you know, a real a modern day prophet, one that the Lord has really been speaking to, and his latest dream that he received, he called this the fight for life. He saw in the dream that he was taken up to an elevated space above the United States of America, and above the United States was the word Nineveh. Now, you guys know Nineveh back in Jonah's time when God told Jonah to go warn the people of Nineveh for their sin and to repent, because if not, Judgment was going to fall upon them. But what did Jonah do? Jonah ran from God. Remember the whole story, getting swallowed up by the big fish, okay? We know a lot of us learned that, you know, back in, in children's church days and Sunday school classes. We learned this. Next point in the dream, he's taken up into what was a courtroom, a very large courtroom. And in this courtroom, all these angels, heavenly beings were there. Some of the angels had really beautiful wings as he described them. Others had more human-like features, but were very, very tall. All of a sudden, then at one point, a man walks into a courtroom wearing a suit and carrying a briefcase. And on that briefcase was a symbol of the Antichrist spirit. It was then that the man approached the judge and handed him some documents. And on the documents was the word abortion. So he hands that over. And then this judge ended up being, well, the Lord himself. And then he said this. He said that the United States has now approached its Nineveh point. It's Nineveh warning. Just like I said, what everything that happened with Jonah, how there has been so many people in the United States that God has called to be Jonas, but they have run from God during this time. And now judgment is going to fall upon the United States because of what we have allowed to have happen to the innocent. If this is our chance, God said that this can be turned around. Judgment can be reversed if, if we will actually repent, if we will actually fight for life. So the mandate has been given now. We have this warning. It was then that Jeremiah was taken into a morgue where he saw the prophet himself, Lou Engel. He was in a body bag, but it was unzipped. And when he saw his face, he had long white hair. He looked like he was to be older, but he had the, the body as if he was, he was much younger. And then all of a sudden, one of the angels in the courtroom appears Right there inside the morgue, he has a key with them and then places the key into the heart of Lou Angle. And then all of a sudden, Lou sprouts back to life again and says that he is one of the ones that God has called to help lead the fight for life. In fact, there is even going to be a calling amongst grandparents in this time, in this current day and age that we're living in right now. They're going to help champion and fight for life as well. We're talking about those that are in their 50s all the way out into their 80s that are really going to be championing for life in this hour, that this is going to go forth all over the United States. So will the judgment be lifted? That is the question. What will the people that God has called to fight for this point in this time in our history to fight for life, are they going to answer the call? Will the United States rebound from this or are we going to just completely collapse under the judgment that we're in, which God said in this dream would bring economic collapse natural disasters, among many others. And guess what? We've already seen both of those happen. So where it goes from here is going to be very interesting. But guys, if you want to read the full prophecy, I will put a transcript of it down below in the description. You can check it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think here about the Lord showing this to Jeremiah? I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.